All right, I'm here back in my house. I'm going to show you how I installed the windmill. You can see her up there. She's spinning real good. Kind of windy, snowy here in Michigan. That coupler is on a two inch EMT electrical conduit. I have it running into this four inch by four inch by six inch electrical box that I put a two inch coupler on. Uh, I did put o-ring gaskets on either side of those even on a three-quarter inch on the bottom i ran it behind the gutter over here down and into the house the other connection there on the right was some work the electricians did to run some wire to the back of the house so i ran this one right next to where they did it and poked it in the house so let's go inside and see where that comes out at Okay, here's the orange wire. What I used was an old extension cord that was pretty beat up, so I grabbed some good section of that. And I tied it up here. Ran it to my wind controller. Now, that thing said you should hook it up to the battery first and then to the charge controller, and you might damage it. I did it backwards, so I don't know if I'm actually getting what I should be getting out of this. Because I may have damaged the charge controller. So I have a new one coming today. I'll update in the next video. Show you how I install that. And get a, get that one connected to this. Now I have going down. That runs to the battery. I have a 2000 watt Juniper. Put a little meter on there. And what I did to connect this is put an outlet box here and I took pulled two wires out of this box and what I did is uh, this wire comes from the power company so that's my shore power and this wire that's coming out the yellow wire is connected to the wire that goes to my kitchen lights so my kitchen and dining room lights are powered by the wind turbine now what I did here is I for now, I connected a, on a switch to a battery charger just temporarily in case uh, there's no wind and I run out, I can turn the battery charger on and everything will still work. Um, I'm not using that red inverter. I was just playing around with that one. So what I got here is I split this outlet to where this is shore power here. So this, this, is coming, this is coming from the utility company. This goes to the lights. Now, if I want to bypass this whole system, I can unplug this here and plug it directly in here. And basically this will just loop around off of the utility power. So this is kind of how I did it. Now what I got, this is underneath my stairwell. So it's kind of a good place to put it. Everything's kind of hidden. I'm going to be mounting stuff, more stuff on this wall. What I got coming is I got a Mohs automatic transfer switch. Um, that way I don't have to play around with battery charger and this and that. And so basically when the battery runs down to a certain level, it's going to automatically switch over to utility power. And then when the battery charges up to a certain level, it'll switch back to inverter power. So I don't have to play around with this. Now I just ordered it. Uh, when it comes in, I'll show you the installation on that. Uh, that way we can harness everything from the windmill and not worry about the lights not turning on if there's no wind and the battery shuts and the battery gets too low. So that's what I got so far. Um, any questions, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can see the progress on this. Uh, again, the Mose charger should be coming sometime within a week. And uh, I'll get that installed in here and uh, see how she goes.